we have the cat start to touch us by touching us at our ankles. And we do the ankles because that's the farthest part from our torso, which is big and scary because that's the center part of our body. We also don't try to get the cat to spend time on our legs initially because that's really scary. So what we do is we get the cat to just come across our legs. So it's all transitory, right? So come across the legs here, come across the legs here, just back and forth, back and forth. And first we're going to sit. You'll probably have more space between you and the cat cave. I just have my kid's bed over here, but you're gonna sit so the cat's already positioned right in front of your ankle so that the cat just has to walk straight forward. And you're going to, let's say the cat's, I'm gonna move the cave now so you don't need that. But let's say the cat's here. You're gonna start with the chew nice and low and drag it along the floor and bring it up the legs and come across the ankles. And you want to pull the churu while the cat is licking. If the cat goes backwards, you're gonna bring the churu forward again and let the cat start licking again and then lure again while the cat is licking. You're gonna follow the contour of your leg and don't worry, in the beginning, the cat may just stop here and that could even last a day, two days, one week, it all depends on the cat. But at some point, you're going to be able to get the cat to follow the churu. And in order to get the cat to go across, you're going to follow, the again, the contour of your leg. You're going to come down this way and go across. So the cat's going to follow across this way. It's important not to pull the churu high. So what happens is if you have the churu up here, just in terms of physics and angles, you're getting the cat to go up. We want the cat to go across. So just think of your little angles and making a triangle there. Um, I don't want the cat to go up. I want the cat to go across. So I stay nice and low. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the true to get the cat to go across the ankles. And you're not going to use the same hand this way, because if you do, your hand is going to be in the eyes of the cat, which is a little scary. And so the cat may be more hesitant to continue. So what you want to do is you want to switch hands and leave the cat the other way. Then just, you know, just pull your hand away nice and slow. Or sometimes what I'll do is as I'm bringing the cat back this way, when I get to this part, I'll pretend my hand's still there, but I'm using my phone to record this. Um, I'll switch hands before my, my arm starts to get into the eyes of the cat. And the goal is you can have the cat just go back and forth over the ankles. Once the cat is really comfortable with that, and what I mean by really comfortable is you bring them across, no hesitation. The cat will just start walking across. Then you know the cat is ready for you to go across the shins. Repeat the same thing over the shins. And once the cat is super comfortable with that, you go over the knees, right? And again, now we're getting higher and higher off the ground and closer and closer to our torso. And so we're doing it very gradually and very methodically. And after the knees, you're gonna have the cat go across the thighs, go across the thighs. And once the cat is really comfortable with going across the thighs, you can then progress to going to the four paws on your thighs step which you can see in another video.